Good evening and welcome back to Two A Day on the Packer Link Up. It is August 5th, Tuesday, and this is the 10 o'clock edition. Oh, how quickly the curtain falls. Uh, just when Brett Favre had gotten back to town and it seemed like maybe things had gotten worked out between him and the team, maybe the team had decided it would be best since they were having trouble making a trade to go ahead and keep Brett on the team, just when all that seemed to be in place, the story changes again. When will it ever end? I just don't know. Brett Favre did not pr come out onto the practice field today. Uh, he instead got in his Escalade and drove away, and Mike McCarthy in his press conference said that Brett was not mentally prepared to commit to the Packers. Um, I think he meant that Brett is committed to playing football, but he doesn't want to play with the Packers. I think McCarthy hurt trade talks by making it sound like Brett was just coming back on a motion. Um, but it seems like both Brett and Mike McCarthy are on the same page this time. This is not going to work out. I think that's the bottom line. Um, and nothing is in that press conference changed what seemed to be coming out this more uh, in the earlier edition, the 5 o'clock. So here we are. Now it is, sounds like Tampa Bay is the most serious suitor for Brett Favre, and a trade is could come very soon. Once again, at this point, even the national media is stepping back and qualifying everything with such sentences as, we've seen how this goes, so we really don't know. There's just no way to know what's going to happen next. Uh, Brett is a part of the team. He will not, it looks like, be practicing anytime in the near future. Apparently, he quote-unquote failed his physical because he had a strained oblique. There's just a lot of stuff out there. So, Brett won't be practicing. Don't look for him on the field. That's our expectation at this time. I do think it would be very conceivable to see Brett Favre in a Tampa Bay Buccaneers uniform before the end of this week. And, of course, then... We will most likely see him in week four when we play Tampa Bay. So, it just gets more interesting. Um, Charles Woodson said, all we know is Brett's here and he's not at practice, practice today. Apparently the players know little more than everyone else. Um, and uh, it, Woodson goes on to say it's been a re pretty rough day. And hopefully it can be resolved one way or the other. So we can go about our business. That seemed to be the bottom line with the team is let's just have, as Aaron Cameron put it, resolution to this issue. We need to have resolution so we don't have distractions. The uh, Tuesday practice, apparently there were many fans out there, more than normal on a Tuesday, and some of them were ch chanting, bring back Brett. One report said that they were booing Aaron Rodgers. So... It, it got pretty crazy during practice, and this is something that the team doesn't need. So I think the team as a whole just wants to have this, as do most of the fans, one way or the other. We can live with the Packers without Brett. We can live with even him going somewhere else. We've even had to come to grips with the possibility that he might be a Viking, for crying out loud. But some of us don't want Brett back. Some of us do. But one way or the other, let's we all want to move on at this point. So, in other news, uh, Ryan Grant says that the running back core on the Packers team is, quote, running back by committee in the sense that they bring each other along. He says all the other running backs are looking real good and are running strong. So it was good to see Ryan in shoulder pads today, and it will be even better to see him in the first preseason game against Cincinnati coming up this weekend. So... Uh, on to my rant for the night. I want to go, I, I put myself in the situation of Aaron Rodgers, and if it's true that fans booed him coming out on the field, I can see chanting, bring back Brett, that, that's going to happen. But don't boo anybody on the team. Aaron Rodgers is just out there doing the best he can with the situation. This is hard on him, too. He's handled it as well as he could. And he doesn't make the decisions as to who's on the team. Let's not boo anybody out there. Man, I just don't see any reason for it. Let's get out there, get behind the Packers. We're their fans. We're the ones that give home field an advantage. 
There's no point in booing. Let's get out there and encourage encourage the team. So uh, that's my rant for the day. So finally, uh, Link Up Spotlight, I believe that this past week, some of the features accidentally got locked out on the website. So this is just a general website deal. If you happen to come on and were locked out of part of the website and told you had to be a member, we do apologize for that because we have opened up the link up to anyone up until the end of preseason. And when we moved over to the new template, apparently some of the settings got changed. We will be correcting that immediately. We want everyone to come to the Packer link up, make themselves at home. Look around, check out the different tabs, check out the game day check tabs, see what's in store, check out the news, start a blog. Uh, and of course, I have mentioned at one point at the end of the preseason, when the season begins, we will be locking out those features to non-members. That's just to say, hey, we want to know you're here, we want to get your email address, and we want to get you in the loop, so um, sign up is simple. Do it today. But until the end of the preseason, we are going to try as much as possible to keep that wide open for everybody to come in, take a look, and hopefully enjoy the Packer Wake Up. So uh, until 5 o'clock tomorrow, go Pack.